Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a beetle. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw two intersecting lines. Draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. These are construction guides that will help you place the body's features later on. The lines should divide the circle into roughly four equal parts. Far down below the circle, make a small mark for the first part of the lower half of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This guide should be similar to a big letter U. Pay attention to the size of this guide in relation to the first circle. On top of the body, draw a half circle as a guide for the head. The head should be very small in relation to the body. Draw two small angled lines on the top part of the body as guides for the first pair of legs. Place these lines above the horizontal construction guide. Below that, draw two more angled lines on the sides of the body as guides for the middle pair of legs. The start of these lines should be very close to the horizontal construction guide. These lines should be slightly longer than the first set of lines. Farther down below, draw two long sloping lines as guides for the final pair of legs. These lines should be close to the bottom edge of the first circle. The pair of lines at the bottom should be the longest. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Lightly sketch two small ovals on the sides of the head for the eyes. The bottom edges of the eyes should touch the body. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. The eyes should be big in relation to the head. On the sides of the head, above the eyes, lightly sketch two small angled lines for the antennae. Pay attention to the length of these lines in relation to the head. Darken these lines using thin shapes to create the segments on the antennae. Don't make the antennae too long or wide. Bend the tips of the shapes upward. Draw a line between the antennae to finish the shape of the head. Make the top part of the head flatter than the initial guideline. Inside the head, draw a wavy line to give it more structure. This line should be similar to the letter W. On top of the head, draw two small thin shapes for the mouth parts. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw a short curved line in the middle to finish the shape of the mouth. Inside the first circle, draw a long angled line for the top section of the body. This line should be similar to a big letter V. Use the horizontal construction guide to help you draw this line. The bottom part of this line should be below the horizontal construction guide. Close off the shape at the top using a long curved line. The resulting shape should be similar to a diamond. The top edge of this shape should touch the head. 
draw a long vertical line across the lower shapes to start the lower half of the body. Simply extend the vertical construction guide farther down. At the bottom, split the line into two and curve it upward. Darken the sides of the initial U-shaped guideline. At the top, curve the lines inward above the horizontal construction guide. Draw a couple of short curved lines at the top to finish the middle section of the body. Draw a curved line at the bottom to finish the shape of the body. Use the angled line on the top left side as a guide to draw the first leg. Draw a series of small thin shapes along the path of the guideline to create the segments on the leg. Make the segments slightly thinner the closer they are to the tip. On the tip of the leg, draw two small angled lines for the claw-like section. Use the line on the top right side as a guide to draw the other leg the same way. Draw small shapes along the path of the guideline to create the segments on the leg. Use the lines on the sides of the body as guides to draw the middle pair of legs. Draw the segments of the legs along the path of the guidelines. The inner segments of the middle legs should be long and wide. On the tip of each leg, draw two small angled lines for the claw-like sections. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Use the bottom lines as guides to draw the final pair of legs the same way. The segments on the bottom legs should be bigger than the segments on the top legs. Bend the segments of the legs along the path of the guidelines. Gradually make the segments smaller and thinner farther down the leg. It's okay if the legs aren't perfectly symmetrical. Draw thin pointy shapes on the tips of the legs for the claw-like sections. Now go over the lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use green as the base color of the body. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Use different shades of green like dark green, yellow green, and regular green to create shadows and highlights. Gradually push down slightly harder on your pencils to blend the colors together. Use dark green on the sides of the shapes for shadows and yellow green on the middle of the shapes for highlights. To make your drawing easier to color, just use single colors instead of blending multiple colors together. Use shades of yellow and brown to color the edges of the body and the antennae. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Leave thin strips blank on the legs to emphasize the metallic highlights. It's a good idea to use reference as you color for a more accurate depiction of a beetle. Add a few shadows along the bottoms of the shapes using gray and blue. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the beetle. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.